Hi, Stephen Caleb with Brownells here, and today we have a little quick tip for you about 22 rim fires. Caleb? 22 rim fires are probably the most you know, versatile caliber out there for any kind of shooting, you know, um, varmint hunting, uh, planking, it's probably the most fun you can have with your clothes on, Steve. And learning the shooting fundamentals. Shooting Sight alignment, fundamentals, trigger yeah. pull, how to manipulate a given action. Good way to start, low recoil, low noise, low cost, especially. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I've I've heard a lot. Uh, 22s are just for just for kids or just for beginners. They're not for you know. It, you're not you're not manly. If you're uh, if you're shooting a 22, you should stick to bigger calibers. That's absolute nonsense. No, I mean a lot of people have used a 22 in their daily life, like running a trap line or something. You oh, take yeah. a 22 with you. Yep. A lot of times um, for varmints, if you got a big farm or something. It's nice to have a 22 around. Yeah, I mean South Louisiana. We, take them everywhere every time you know if, when you're out in the, the the country you know the around the rice fields and areas like that you always took a 22 with you right always so. and during times of ammunition shortage you you know it doesn't take a lot to stockpile enough 22 to get you through a shooting season or two and make sure that you get to go out to the range in some way or another and we all need the training you need to keep up on your skills yeah and you know it's one of those things where just like all the other ammunition during you know shortages they it dries up just like anything else but it's the times in between that you can right. stockpile it for inexpensive and uh you know like steve said it'll get you through the whole length of it for you know and a really affordable price i think most of us all started shooting a 22 at some point um i had a nylon 66 chambered in 22 short of all things way back in the day this is back in the 70s um, before that, I shot my dad's single shot Savage. Very inexpensive gun, but we shot the heck out of it. Yeah, and I grew up shooting on a Marlin Model 60. Mm -hmm. and now as an adult, I have a old Mossberg 151 that I restored, and that, that thing's a blast to shoot. I love shooting that gun. Right, most 22s are more accurate than the average shooter, so you really get your money's worth no matter what point you go into. And just because the gun may be old, doesn't mean it won't shoot, because a lot of them shoot like a house of fire. Yeah, so really, if you don't have a 22, you really ought to consider getting one. It's probably the most useful firearm you'll own. That's it for today. If you disagree or agree, leave us a comment below. We'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.